fifth at bat. Six innings. And a first pitch to him is ball number one. Vince Velasquez gems this year. They end up being a long man here. It looks like tonight. neither team. They're moving on to the 11th. They have and they are. Garcia the stab and a whirl and out number one. The Orioles have a runner at third and one out in the top of the 11th. Final eight. And I know he's going to hit. I mean they're comparing him to Matt Wieters who had a long building your organization from a good spot from behind the plate. Well it, 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 he had a triple into the right field corner for his first major league hit. The thing that I was most impressed by there was a you certainly want to take charge guy if he's going to catch for you. The last thing you need is an indecisive respective teams. Salvi Perez was that guy from the time he was 16 years old. I mean he really helps the total package. So Baltimore's taking the lead. It's six to five as some dust blows around this ballpark. Uh, if Baltimore were to hang on to win and they're going to the bottom of the 11th, they would be three and one Down for a long time, and he can do just about everything out there. Ryan Mountcastle is a pretty good hitter too. He is, but I was just looking, you know, the up the middle strength that is right. the conventional wisdom of building a baseball team. If you can for hitters, now it's pretty tough in left and left center field to hit the ball out. Beautiful pitch from Vince. Strike three. We should just start texting Jim Palmer about his thoughts on Adley Rushman, and we could just convey them live on the air. Oh, you don't actually have to do that. No, I think Jim actually works about four percent of the game, so it could very <laughs> well be that he is unforeseen. Unforeseen. Two and two. And Joan Duran closed that game for Minnesota. You know, we looked at his stuff and said, this guy has got to. We, we had milkshakes tonight, so. It brought all the runs to the yard. Accident. Chiro was great. I need a little more cinnamon with Chiro, but I thought it was terrific. Angle in left center makes the catch. We have wholesale changes for you, by the way. You ready? Um, with Jake at second, trying to see how he looks down there, how he goes out natural position. Somebody's taking a look at you to see if you fit there. A three run homer off the of Dylan Cease on a 3 2 pitch. And Trevor's story in his last times with sponsorships, by the way. Now he's hitting everything. He really is. I mean, he's an exceptional player. I, I know. Rockies fans. Check swing on a fastball. No go. Three and two. That one didn't miss by much, and it was close enough to almost. Struck him out. Slider. Two down. Two out. Franchi Cordero. Takes a high curveball for a strike. Here on this blustery night. On Cordero. Below the zone of the. Check swing. He did. And that's strike three. AL East. Things don't get a whole lot easier for a while yet. Good curveball from Vince, one and one. Vince Velasquez has gone six up, six down since coming in in the top of the sixth. Check swing. No, he didn't go. The integrity of the game clock. Three and one. The third, that's a fair ball. It's Moncada. One down. <laughs> wow. You know, it's hard to believe that it's only the eighth inning. Well, three plus hours. I it is has moved all that slowly. 
No, I, I agree. No. QR code crept out. Two and zero. Oh. That's in for a strike. Two and one. Meantime, Velasquez has really done a nice job. I, I know that. Maybe the advantage. No, they didn't. Against Miami. Ooh. Uh, anybody. His ERA is 204 after losing tonight. Foul ball back toward us. No. Since we saw Kike Hernandez. Sky high. Yoan. Makes catch. A little 4 8 for the coaches. Pitch curveball got a strike. His first year was 2020, the pandemic season with nobody in the ballparks, and he just annihilated the baseball. He had eight home runs in 23 games. Yeah, I, I truly believe that he is going to hit other folks, and sometimes it takes you to another team to reach the promise that you've had. Now. Look foul. The Braves just walked off the Phillies, but they are losing six to one to the Giants. Strike three. Vince Velasquez, three inning. His last start was May 19th against Kansas City. Got a no decision, and starts victorious. Huh? He's got those hands. Look, he's starting his hands a little bit. I tell you, the spark at the top of that order. Able to hold up. And it's one and two. And his outs were pretty good. A one hopper to Danny Mendick at short. Bullet. I go a lot of times. They they're trying to get the Tigers thinking away, thinking away, thinking away. Then they throw that breaking ball. They're out. They'll, they may throw a breaking ball, but then there's put away pitches that when they go down and in and trying to hold. Two and one to Harold Castro. He's had an outstanding series so far. Six for nine against Chicago. Swung on and missed. Two and two. Fouled away. And he's worked the count full. Here they go. He's got that front foot open. Take strike three. Take a look at this. This pitch rest against Vince Velasquez in his career. As you see there, three for four with a couple of home runs. Five with a run batted, batted in. One and one. From the batter's box. Wave and a miss. It's one and two to Cabrera. Here at beautiful Comerica Park. In the air, center field. Luis Robert is there. The Tigers are out in order when we come back. You've seen the rosin bag on the pitching mound. Nolan Ryan, Randy Johnson, just to name a few. Just start there, huh? It's a good place to start. It's a good jumping off yeah. point. He will join us in the third inning. With adversity you're going to face in your life. So you'll be inspired by it as Meadows splashes one to left field. That is dropping and that is caught. Nice running catch wow. by A.J. Pollock. Had a lot of ground to make up. He did scope. Talking about Dr. House, he's got. Understands psychology, understands movements, understands how. What you are, you run out of gas, you run out of gas. The body's the same way. And Scope the, behind in the count one and know it all, but they are always willing to listen to Tom. So we'll get into some of his secrets. Second strikeout of the day for Vince Velasquez. That home run you saw 
under Willie Castro. Have, uh, that ability at the top of your order. Of course, you want somebody to get on base any way they can. But it's also good to get a run. You're thinking of Lou Whitaker. Then you, then Kirk, uh, Lance Parrish, then Daryl Evans. Hondo. Yeah, that was a long lineup, man. I think. I think Tom House worked with Mitch Williams also. Well, we'll soon find out. Josh Harrison retires Willie Castro. Tigers go one, two, three. The doctor is in the house. How did they receive you and some of your, your tactics? On the football side, Drew was the first real client, football client that I had, Marinovich. Hmm. We, if anybody would get in front of us for a data capture, we'd get him in front of us. So he just... He pitched for us over in Arizona and... He really became dominant. He's got great numbers in history in the game of baseball. So tall kid that's 6'1", and do, go, going through the same experiences. So the reason these really tall guys, especially Randy, didn't put it together till they were 27 or 28 is because it was a road trip. And I made one small change, and I'll wait for this pitch. On the corner to get Torkelson looking. We made one small change. So I took the bullet on that one. They didn't blame Nolan, but it was a combination effort. Rand Randy was tighter in three weeks. That is fascinating about pitchers who are 6'5 and above. And that data holds up. That's All right. I heard a bang there. Um, anybody ever heard of the name Paul Richards? Yes. Good hustle by that young man. Eric Haas is aboard with one away in the third. So Paul Richards had 150th of a second. So in effect, 100 pitches is taking a 50-pound dozens of, if you don't understand biomechanics, and you're not monitoring strength and recovery, then he may throw hard, he may get people out, but the price he pays because of that spinning out or, or leave, no matter what pitch they throw. And all a screwball is, is, is pronating before the ball leaves your hand. Clemens to left field. A.J. Pollock retires now, Cody Clemens. I'm just going to... Regress back a little bit and talk about another guy that um, we were. He's a perfect example of a kid that his durability, his recovery capacity was off the charts. Well, some other guys, for whatever the reason, their recovery time took longer. So, again, I know I'm pushing here, but your stuff. And we were actually very good, not just me, but I think baseball in general has started. I had to go through five years in the minor leagues before I had any mastery at all. Attaboy. A base hit by Victor Reyes to center field. What's the message you give to parents and coaches of younger players, the youth of today, and how you preserve their arm?